Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about the pros and the cons of living in Portland, Oregon. The reason I decided to make this video is because my husband Spencer and I have a real estate team here in the Lamette Valley and our office is actually located in Salem. However, we've worked with a lot of clients throughout the years who have been people who were moving to Salem from Portland or people who were moving from Salem to Portland and um, and we, we do cover, even though our office is in Salem, we work about an, an hour or so from Salem. So we cover the Portland area, we sell homes in Portland and the surrounding areas and these are things that we have heard and observed from working with so many clients in this area throughout the year so I have written out a pretty lengthy list for you guys of pros and cons in the note section of my phone and I've actually saved the very best pro in my personal opinion for very last, so you're definitely going to want to listen until the end. Before we get into it, um, if you are someone who is thinking about relocating to our area, feel free to contact me anytime we get calls, texts, and emails from people like you who are watching our YouTube videos and moving to Oregon from all over the world, and we absolutely love it. We'd love to work with you. I'll put my contact information in the description below. Con number one is going to be the traffic. If you're someone who's moving to Portland from another city, then this might not be a big deal to you. It might even be better than where you're moving from. However, in my opinion, there is quite a bit of traffic in Portland. It is pretty bad. Number two is a pro, and this is the coffee. Um, I'm a coffee lover, so I couldn't leave this one out, and I'm not talking about Starbucks in Portland. There are some um, seriously amazing coffee shops at every corner there's local coffee and it's all really really good they're actually that's like one of the things that I think they're known for so I'm definitely a pro if you're a coffee lover okay so I'm gonna say this is something I feel like anytime I post a video about like Oregon in general I get so many comments saying you didn't mention the homelessness there's so there's so much homelessness and so I'm gonna say yes is a con there is quite a bit of homelessness only if you're talking well mainly if you're talking like directly downtown Portland there is quite a bit of that however if you are comparing Portland to other larger cities it's really no worse and so if you like know differently about that then let me know in the comments below but that's kind of what I have to say is that yes that is a con but that's going to be in pretty much any large city that you choose to live in to go along with that as a pro and you might art you might be like what are you talking about Mariah you're saying Portland is clean I would say Portland is a very clean city and what I mean by that is maybe to you you don't think it's very clean but if you're comparing Portland to so many other cities like I would say Portland is a lot cleaner so take that what, what do with that what you will but that's you know for my observation is that it is a clean city another pro of Portland Oregon is that there are endless things to do there really is always something going on there's so many festivals at the waterfront there's professional sports teams there's a lot of fun places to go and activities to do I've actually heard that Portland is one of the most family-friendly cities and there's a lot of like family centered child centered like activities and there's great parks and stuff you're only a three hour drive to Seattle so you can do an easy day trip there the Oregon coast is about an hour away so there's really a lot going on and a lot of entertainment to do another pro is that it is just so beautiful there's so much nature everywhere in the surrounding areas there's a lot of hikes not too far away and there's just green and trees all over the place which leads me to a con and that is of course the rain it does rain quite a bit here for a good part of the year but if you're comparing Portland to somewhere like Seattle it actually rains more in Seattle than Portland so it's not as bad as in Seattle we do get a fair amount of rain okay so this next one I'm gonna say it's a pro and it's a con for two different reasons so the con is that home prices in Portland are just crazy I remember a few years ago showing homes in Portland and thinking how insane the prices were compared to other markets that we also worked in prices have gone up so much and Portland is very expensive compared to other parts of Oregon however this is a pro if you're comparing Portland Oregon to pretty much any other city city on the west coast it's actually a lot more affordable so that's uh, both a pro and a con <laughs> Another pro is that there is no sales tax. What you see on the price tag is what you pay. Another pro is that you do not pump your own gas, which is obviously not just Portland, that's all of Oregon, but in my mind, that's a huge pro on a rainy day where 
if, if it's raining, you don't have to get out of your car to pump your gas, which is like, okay, I told you guys that I would save the very best pro for last, in my opinion, and that is the food. I, I'm serious. There are so many amazing restaurants, amazing places to eat, so many amazing like culturally diverse restaurants that you just don't see in other areas that are so delicious. There's just so many restaurants, like you never run out of really good food to eat in Portland. The food there is just so good. So that is my last pro. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you watch this video all the way through, Give it a thumbs up, share this video with a friend who is thinking about buying or selling real estate. And if you are thinking about relocating to Oregon, contact me, I would love to be a realtor if you do not already have one. And I will see you guys next time.